All right. I think we can all agree that RimWorld's hardest storyteller is the void, right? And that's because he can send things like this at you. Oh, holy sweet mama. Combine that with the fact that he can send up to 12 negative events per day. And you got yourself a pretty painful experience. You fucking idiot. Now, my previous attempts, it's safe to admit they didn't go so well. But what makes today different is I actually have a plan. Oh my god. And no, it doesn't involve hiding behind five layers of wall and claiming that's a victory. It involves actually standing up to the void. Oh, we gave it brain damage. And, you know, maybe killing a couple of the bastards as well. But to do that, we're going to need some kind of weapon. Like a cannon. Or a tank. Well, thank God this video is sponsored by World of Tanks. For those that have been living under a rock, World of Tanks is the best free-to-play tank game with over 160 million players worldwide. With over 600 different tanks across five classes, ranging from little babby tanks to medium tanks, big tanks, tank destroyers and artillery, it's safe to say you got plenty of historically accurate tanks to choose from. In addition, you can earn experience, modify, and upgrade your tanks to fight across 40 different battle arenas. Fight in the forests, open plains, deserts, and even in urban environments if you're a goddamn psychopath. Download World of Tanks now for free using the link in the description and use the code TANKMANIA for 7 days of premium, it's 250,000 credits, premium tank excelsior and free rental tanks which include tiger 131 cromwell b and t3485 m bear in mind that these benefits are only available for new players and most importantly the sweet satisfaction of joining me and annoying my older brother with the fact that i am getting paid to play his favorite game so thank you wargaming for sponsoring this video you truly are the mvp of this year <coughs> Well, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the third or fourth Void video that I've done on this channel. As you can see, this map has one entrance, and that entrance is coated in water and mud, so we have a nice little killing field. You know, my plan is to go a little World War One up on this bitch and build loads of barbed wire and mines, and, you know, we'll create a no-man's land. So after surviving the first day, I got this little pop-up. The Void is no longer hostile with me. That's right, boys. We have won the challenge. Uh, yeah, I wish. What really happens is the Void now rock up to your colony and offer you an ultimatum. Greetings, we are the Void. You are unlawfully trespassing in our newly annexed territory. You must leave this world at once or else you will be forcibly removed. Uh, basically, they're telling us to fuck off in a very nice way. We have three different ways we can respond. Uh, we could say something incredibly insulting and immediately attack them. We can respectfully decline. You aren't here to beg or to surrender to anyone. Call, call me a pussy. All you want in the comments, but I'm going to beg for mercy. You know, I'm going to try and plead to their humanity. This will basically give us 30 days of peace with the void so i'm gonna pick that one all right so here's a fun little meme on my first take i accidentally put the wrong sound effect on and it sounded like this greetings we are the void you are unlawfully trespassing in our newly annexed territory you must leave this world at once or else you will be forcibly removed oh yeah here's a quick little rundown of what my ideology is as you can see, I've just kind of made things a little easier for myself by making cannibalism acceptable and people not caring about corpses. Two things which are quite important when all I'm going to be doing is defending myself from an endless string of raids. As for an actual first plan, uh, I'm going to be rushing gun turrets while using the ship turret that I have to defend me from anything the void sends. However, little did I know that the first threat was going to be from within. Thanks to Peter and an insulting spree, everyone is now very upset. Eve's just had a catatonic breakdown. This is not what I needed, you know, four days into a void challenge. Also, I love how she's more upset about being insulted than she was about the fact that she's malnourished, but you know, don't worry about that. Oh, for God's sake, Harry's now gone berserk because he was insulted and he's now beating up Liam, who's got like chronic food poisoning. <laughs> This chat is just derailing and he's gone on a food bin. Oh god, Harry's now picked on a mega sloth. Yeah, that's not gonna go very well for you, buddy. Oh, for fuck's sake, Harry's just died. And god damn, now the mega sloth is destroying the turret. Don't let it do that. Shoot it, Peter. Okay, there we go. No, I don't even blame Harry for dying via a mega sloth. Yeah, I could have probably saved him, but the person I blame is peter for that one insulting spree yeah this man has caused more damage to the colony already than i think the void's gonna cause 
Oh, oh, jeez, this is one of the stalkers. Okay, Peter, run. Run, Peter, run. Don't let that thing get near you. Keep running, my boy. And leaves out bullets. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. It's got to be dead soon. Look how many times he's been shot by the big gun. Come on. Okay. It's okay. Relax. Everything's fine. The stalker is dead. Now that just cost me 56 bullets for my ship turret. Well, that means we only got 144 left now. But that that's thats the thing that's going to save me. If I didn't have that, this would have been GG already. Here we are. Here's a quest. We got a quest to... Uh, we can rescue a child called McJolly, who's being chased by a drifter. I'm going to kind of take anyone we can get right now. You know, I've had such a terrible track record of keeping children alive in this game. So today, I'm actually going to try and keep McJolly alive. Okay, this might look a little crazy, but you're going to have to trust me on this one. This, my friends, is what I call the two stages of hell. Now, initially, my plan was to build a massive defense at the entrance of the map and mow them down as they walked in, but that idea was kind of stupid and was never going to work. So the idea now is the first layer of defense is to trap manhunter packs and delay raiders. And once they break through, we'll then shoot the crap out of them in the little crater of water while they are slowly paddling towards my defenses. So here's an idea that we had when I was streaming this. And this was to build cannons because cannons don't require any components. And apparently they're pretty good. Aha! They couldn't have timed that raid any better. Because, ladies and gentlemen, our cannon with grape shot is ready. Right, here we go. Oh my god! <laughs> Holy fuck! She just got deleted! broke her leg her spine her torso her existence is just gone all right let's do one more let's do one more <laughs> oh mate the void ain't gonna know what can hit them once they uh, run against these these cannons man these are what are gonna carry me to victory they only cost like 120 wood and 60 sil to make the grape shot ammunition only costs 66 steel to make and it makes like five shots. It just feels like I'm playing Shogun 2 Fall of the Samurai again and I'm all for it. And thank God I got these cannons because the Void were preparing to fist me. Also, I really don't appreciate the screams that are coming out of this. Is this chamber? Is it screaming help me out of this chamber? That's just, that's so very disturbing. Oh, and there's a, there's a raid to follow that up. Peter, you've got a special mission. Shoot the conversion chamber. Oh, holy sweet mama. Look at that thing. What is that? that that's, that's, that's the raider's problem now. That's not my problem anymore. Jesus Christ, look at the size of that thing. Right, Hank, get on the cannon. Liam, on the cannon. Yeah, your target is, that is, is the big boy. All right, another grape shot has hit it. I mean, it's only bruising it, but it's doing so much damage. Oh, well, that's the raid dealt with. Just got to deal with this thing now. There we go. Jesus Christ. All right, Peter, go finish off the conversion changer. That is absolutely terrible. Uh, where'd it go? Okay, well, that was terrifying. It's gone now. <laughs> okay. You know what? That's Maybe that's just for the best. It, it's gone now. It's... It can't hurt me anymore. Oh, oh, oh. One of the stalkers has just rocked up again. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. I wasn't ready for this. Get on the cannon and give it some grape shot. Have some of that. Oh, my God. How much damage did that just do? Oh, we gave it brain damage. Oh, fantastic. Give it some more. Oh, hey, would you look at that? McJolly just became an adult as well. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. The, 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 it, it, it's escaped. It's, it's left its containment. Oh my god, how is this thing still alive? It just took three grape shots and it's still standing. It just destroyed my cannon! You know, I don't really need it because we've got the cannons, but that was my lifeline. So after murdering a wide range of void creatures, it was only a matter of time before the void became hostile. Uh, uh, well, actually it was 30 days to be exact. And then this was shortly fired up by the inevitable. Oh, oh, here they come. Time to sit up, boys. 
The void have arrived. Jokes on them though, they gotta go through some leather back turtles first. Which they have massacred. <laughs> well, here comes one of them. Right, get him with the cannon. Oh, we killed him! He's actually dead! Oh <laughs> it worked! He just got absolutely wrecked! Oh my god! And then his teammate just stole his stuff. Oh my god! That is how it's done. Get out of it, Void. You ain't nothing, buddy. You want to see what a man looks like after he gets hit by three loads of grape shot? Yeah, it doesn't look so good, does it? You can have all the enhancements in the world, but once the grape shot comes... Oh, Lord. You know what? I feel like it would be a little bit rude if I didn't chop up the Void corpse and enjoy a little bit of uh, fine dining, as we'll call it. That 19 human meat might be a little bit crunchy with all those implants, but... By God, am I going to enjoy it? It's safe to say at this point, my confidence was at an all-time high. I mean, let's just get a quick replay on that kill. <laughs> Brings a tear to my eye every time. However, just because we killed one Voidling doesn't mean we won the war. And let's just say the Void wasn't very happy with me killing one of his boys. Oh, really? Another conversion chamber? All right, well, here we are. Conversion chamber number four has just landed. <laughs> Once again, in the best possible place. These guys are, uh, they're a little bit busy right now. Settlers from the Red Cove Bandits are beginning their assault. You know what? They might be a little bit busy. Oh, and there we go. They're, uh, they're fleeing now. There we go. Holy crap. Let's see if we can actually butcher it this time. <laughs> Look at the size of it was. He's trying to butcher it. All right, how much meat do we get from it at least? Oh, sweet Jesus. 2,495 meat. Ah, you guys couldn't have timed this any better. For anyone that cares, we're on about day 60 now. And uh, I decided that it was time to upgrade our defense. So I've slapped on two more cannons. Yeah, that went pretty well. Oh, yeah. All right, boys, we're just wasting shots now. <laughs> uh-oh, uh-oh. Stalker's rocked up. One of the stalkers have arrived. All right, McJolly is about to get hit with grape shot, but I'm sure she's going to be okay. That thing just took a shot and is still standing and is now consuming McJolly. It, it just consumed McJolly. Okay. There we go. Where's McJolly and all of that mess? <laughs> McJolly? Hello? Okay. <laughs> McJolly is gone. <laughs> she got consumed, it seemed. <laughs> I, it spat out every other body except for a McJolly. <laughs> no. I was meant to protect the poor child. Oh. A siege. That's the first time we've had one of them. I don't want to be that guy, but I really feel like where you're planning on setting up is a really, really bad idea. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> yeah, try and siege me now. Let's see how well it goes for you, shall we? Bunch of cowards, man. Really? Another one? If you have a quick look to the right, guys, you can clearly see what happened to the last people that tried to siege me. But it's, I suppose it's time to do the same thing again. It's actually getting to the point now where we actually get visitors rocking up because they, they're learning that this place is a safe haven from the void. Because the void cannot kill me. Okay, the Void could probably kill me. If they actually drop potted behind my defensive line, I'd be pretty screwed. Hmm. I'm not a fan of the Void setting up a colony so close to me. Not a big fan of that at all. Oh, wow. I didn't realize you could target a well tile with these 81 millimeter mortars. <laughs> Let's just start bombing the Void. Why not? Screw them. Yeah, get fucked. You think you can settle next to me? Prepare to get shelled continuously. Okay, I think that's a, that's a fair response. I'm sorry, Void. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> oh, it's happening. I said it would happen. The, the, the raid, the drop raid, the drop raid. Well, oh, this is going to be real bad. Shoot them. Shoot them. Everybody shoot. Oh, my God. They got a flamethrower. Yeah, this is one of those times where I'm incredibly glad that I switched my base around so everything was made out of stone. Excellent. Right, let's just open that. Actually, you know what? You know what? Leave that door shut. Let them burn. We'll let them burn for what they've done. Oh, don't open the door. Why would you do that? You just ruined the fun now. They've, you'd let them all escape. 
To be fair, you did just murmur all down with a shotgun, so. Another group of people with melee weapons. I, I... Where's the good raids? This is just easy now. Oh, that's just. <laughs> Nice. No, this is so easy. I don't even have to do anything now. The void just sends so many raids at me that they just kill each other. This is brilliant. And because they're all imps and retarded, they're just burning themselves. At this point, I was pretty confident in my abilities to fight the void again. But this time, I wanted an army to arrive. I wanted the void to send everything they got at me. So I downloaded the provoke raid mod and uh, what I got wasn't exactly what I was expecting. Uh, it, it's just a single voidling. That shouldn't be too difficult to deal with. Son of a bitch!